like baseball and apple pie, debt has become a slice of American life. The average American carrying a total debt of more than $96,000. I have a total debt of around $67,000, and that feels terrifying and like I want to throw up. Francie Webb, a doula and small business owner in Virginia, says she couldn't always speak so candidly about money, even avoiding the topic with her husband, Leo. She's opening up to remove the stigma. She racked up nearly $120,000 in debt after using credit cards to pay for family bills, including rent and her daughter's preschool. Why do you think people carry that embarrassment when it comes to finance and debt? There's a lot of shame that comes with it. Um, for me, it's like I did it wrong. It's like, well, I screwed up and this is the reminder. How do you move past that feeling? Understanding that that's just a story that I make up about myself. Like if I'm there saying I screwed up and it's really like, no, and I was doing was taking care of my family and like making a choice that worked for right then. Once Francie and Leo created an open dialogue about their finances, they began tackling their debt together, using a budgeting app and working with a financial advisor to help them prioritize their spending. And it started with sweating the small stuff. When the kids lose the remote control yet again, Francie tells Leo to press pause on buying a replacement. He's like, can we afford to spend 20 on that? And it's like, you feel that shame comes back when you're like, what, I don't have $20 to buy an extra remote. But then you step outside of that shame and you're like, wait a second, is this actually what I want that $20 to do? Or would I rather have that $20 in my vacation fund? How hard was it to adopt these new habits? Really freaking hard. <laughs> Francie says she and Leo stopped using credit cards, and in just a year and a half, they knocked down nearly half of their debt. Recently, inflation costs prompted them to adjust their repayment strategy. I've actually called each of my credit card companies and negotiated a lower minimum payment. What that means is when there's extra to put toward debt, rather than paying towards that higher minimum payment, I can then be like, no, my car is at $2,700. Let me throw $250 towards that. Financial advisor Kristen Merrick doesn't work with Francie, but she says it's usually better to pay down credit card debt than car loans because of the high interest rates. What's the number one piece of advice you give people when they come to you and say, I want to start chipping away at my debt? You have to organize your debt. The focus needs to be on the bad debt, which you know already is the credit card debt. Merrick says try to consolidate your credit card debt to make it easier to pay off. If you can't, she says pay down the balance on the card with the highest interest first. And when tackling debt, approach it like a diet. Going from being wildly excessive to complete deprivation is really not a great strategy. To stay on track, Francie says she's created various funds for upcoming and emergency expenses like medical bills, home repairs, and travel. Building a future where the only thing she owes is a debt of gratitude for the lessons learned. I have been in debt for the majority of my adult life, and I'm just not interested in doing that anymore. I'm committed to having freedom with money. All right, Vicky went for us there. So Vicky just gave you some tips, uh, and we've got some more tips for you as well. These are tips from experts. Tip number one, set $100 weekly allowances for spending money so that you can stay on budget. Okay. Avoid buying in bulk. Avoid okay. impulse shopping. And mortgages can still be a good investment since, you know, it's usually an asset that goes up in value. So there are well, a few more tips there. Well, your dad had a pretty good tip. What well, was your dad's when tip? When we were growing up, my father didn't have a credit card, and he mm -hmm. used to say, Besides a house or a car, if you can't pay for it in cash, you don't need it. And so did that stick with you? I, it stayed with me. I learned the lesson the hard way in college. I had, <laughs> I was just about to say, I had a Discover us. card yes. for, for about three years. Took me yeah. six or seven years to pay it off. Yeah. But after that, no. You're no credit card? We, I, we don't, That's we impressive. Don't believe in wow. Credit. Now, right. you talk to my wife. Yeah. It's a different conversation. It's a mixed bag. All right. right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.